Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful white cuff beaded bracelet with pearls. It's easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. You need two sizes of smaller beads and 8mm pearls. So if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And you could also find down there in description short clip for this video where in just 2-3 minutes you will see the whole idea of this bracelet and decide whether you feel like making it or not and this is on my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips you could also decide to subscribe there and down there in description you will find besides this fast clip links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel so check it out and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that I posted below, I will be so happy to see your creations. So now guys, thank you for watching and I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using in this video are 8 beads in this creamy color. I use 11 seed beads in this gold color and dark red color. These are 8 millimeter pearls. I use 26 of them, but if you want to make longer bracelet, you will need more. Uh, and here I use clasp and a jump ring in old gold color this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers they are not obligatory i use them only if i need to go through difficult beads and now i'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and i'll be back okay guys and now i have my thread on my needle and I will start picking up beads. Okay, first I need to take four of these beautiful atos. Okay, four of them. And I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread. And here what I do is that I make a knot by going twice through the loop I've made. I pull and then I make one more knot just like this and in my next step I'm going through one of my atos my creamy atos and what I would do next is take a red a golden and a red okay this is what I have on my needle and I'm going here through my next ato bead okay this is what I have then I'm going to take a red, a golden and a red. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And I'm going through the following ato. Then again, a red, a golden, a red. Go here through the following. A red, a golden, red and go through the following okay guys now I have this and I'm going to do an additional thread here thread pad here by going through these central four beads okay just like that and now guys, in my next step, what I want to do is exit through one of my golden beads. Okay, now I have the first element of my bracelet ready. And what I want to do next is take four red beads, go here at the end of my work, take four more, okay, Go through this golden, okay, like this. Then in my next step, 
I will go around through all of those beads again. And I'm exiting here out of this red one. And then what I want to do is take two goldens, my clasp, slide those down, and then I'm taking two more golden beads. Slide those down as well. Now I have this. And what I do is that I go back in circle through all of those beads and in this way I'm attaching my clasp. Okay. Now I will go around reinforcing it. Okay guys, now in my next step, I'm going here in this direction. I, I hope that the rain that you hear is not a distraction for you. I really like when it's raining. Okay, and now I'm exiting here out of this golden bead and I'm going to make my next element. And in order to do this, I'm taking two red beads and I'm going back in circle through this golden. Then I go through the first red one and I take four beads. Four. Slide those down. And then I will go back here in circle through these four beads of these creamy atos. I'm going around them, okay? It's easier for me to flip in this direction and I'm taking a red, a golden and a red and I'm going here in circle through these creamy beads. I just flip my work in this direction because it was easier for me. Okay, now I'm going to take a red, a golden and a red like this and I go through these creamy beads, through my next creamy bead. Okay, now I have this, a red, a golden and a red, go here and this time I'm going through those three beads here that I started my element from, going through them okay you see where I am and what I want to do next is exit in this direction because I want to reach my next golden bead Okay, and I'm exiting out of my next golden. And in my next step, guys, what I want to take are two red beads. Going back here in circle. Like this. Go through the red one. Take four creamy beads. Like this. Slide those down and what I want to do next is go back through all of those four creamy beads. Pull and pull closer to my work, okay, like this. Then in my next step I'm going through this creamy one, closing my circle. Okay, then what I want to take is a red, a golden, and a red, okay, go here through this creamy one, 
a red, a golden, and a red. Go here, a red, a golden, and a red. Go in this direction. Then here, in the middle, through this golden, and through those beads in this direction. Oh, it rains so beautifully. I like the rain. Okay, and now I'm going to continue making those elements. And when I'm ready, when I have, let's say, 14 of those elements, or you could do less or more, but when I do 14, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and as I continue beading, this is what I have. I have 14 elements, the same way I showed you, if you forgot how I'm doing this, rewind it, see how I'm doing an element from here and repeat it until the end of this row. And now I'm exiting here out, out of this golden and I'm going to repeat what I did from the other side. Okay, I'm taking four red beads going through the golden at the edge. Then what I take are four more. By the way, my thread was over as I was doing it and I added more thread and if you don't know how to add thread to a project tell me in the comments and I'll give you a link to another tutorial where I'm showing how to add more thread. Now I'm doing absolutely the same thing that I did from the other side of my work. Okay, but here I'm going to attach my jump ring and I'm attaching it by taking four golden beads. Then I'm taking my jump ring and I'm going back through all of those beads like this. And of course I'm reinforcing. Okay guys, now I have this and now I will go here through one of those golden beads. Okay, like this. And from here on, I'm going to start adding pearls, okay? I'm taking one 8 millimeter pearl and I'm going through the following golden. Taking one more 8 millimeter pearl. And I'm going through the following golden, take one more, go through the following, and I'm going to continue doing this until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and as I continue this process of adding more and more pearls, here I am at the end. And I'm going to add my last pearl here. Okay, like this. Okay, and don't worry that your work bends a little bit at this stage. We'll fix it later. Okay, I'm going here through those beads like this. And I want to go at the other side of my work let's say here of the golden one and here guys i'm taking one pearl going through the following bead then one more pearl like this going through the following 
Okay. One more. Go here in the next one. And I'm going to continue this process until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and when I continue adding more and more pearls, this is what I have. And here I'm adding my last pearl. I go through this golden and I pull. And in my next step, guys, what I want to do is go at the other side of my work here and I'm going to do an additional step to finish this bracelet going through this golden here then I go through the pearl take just one a two and go through the following pearl one more a two go here through the following one more go here and i will continue doing this until the end of this row and i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last bead from this row and you guess what I do next. I go here at the other side of my work. And my goal is to exit through this golden bead. Then through the pearl. Okay. This is what I have now. And I'm taking one A2, go through the following pearl, one more A2, go in the next one, one more, and go here. Okay, guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row, and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row. Then I find a place to make a knot. Let's say I'm making it here. And I'm making it by making a loop. Going once, going second time through this loop I've made. And I pull and I go through the following seed bead. And I cut my thread. I could repeat this knot several more times, but after that, I'm always going through the following seed bead and then cutting my thread. Never cut next to a knot. And now my beautiful white cuff pearl bracelet is ready. Okay, guys, and now my beaded white cuff bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. And in this way, you will be notified when I release absolutely free new videos every week. And you will be inspired for new projects. And you might also decide to subscribe for my second channel, Bijuteo Fast Clips. And I have link down there in description to a fast video of this tutorial where you could see it in just two three minutes and decide whether you feel like making it or not so you could check it out and down there in description you will find the full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel and don't forget if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials share them on my facebook or on my instagram page i will be so happy to see them Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.